How's it going everybody? It's Rage Gamer here for another Black Ops 3 video and today we're going to be looking at supply drops, basically why the system is so flawed, why it's so biased towards Activision, why they make so much profit and why basically you shouldn't buy supply drops. There are probably some people in this video who have either bought them watching this video or are thinking about getting them. I want hopefully at the end of the video for a lot of people to have the response of, oh, maybe I was wrong, probably shouldn't buy supply drops. And I think people do know that already, but they really want proof. And they, once they're shown, then they'll think, oh my god. So that's what I'm hoping. Um, the reason why I want to do this video is because I'm going to be having a supply drop discussion very, very soon. If you want to be part of the discussion, when you put your views forward, you want to have a chat with me and a couple of other people about supply drops, and it will be in the video, it will be on my channel, um, then add me on PlayStation 4. My name is Rage Gamer. If you're not sure about the name, look at my channel name. Uh, it's the same name. Uh, along with the friend request on PlayStation 4, make sure you send me um, a message letting me know that you're who you are and that you're interested um, in being part of the discussion. I'm going to do it very soon, probably within the next couple of days. So add me as soon as possible if you guys want to be part of that. Obviously, if you already have, have me added, then just you know send me, send me a comment or something. But just let me know that you're interested, guys. And also, to think about it, I've just seen several people doing videos on this kind of thing. And it's sort of just, I think now suddenly there's a real push with quite a few of the big YouTubers. If you guys think, okay, buying supply drops, whatever. You know, I'm losing a little bit of money. Maybe it's my hard-earned cash from a job or... Uh, a birthday, Christmas, um, maybe allowance from parents, whatever. Basically, you are paying money to this guy right here. He does not deserve any money. Does he look like he deserves money to you? I don't think so. He has already got a ton of money. He's a multi-billionaire. He is he is such a greedy person. He doesn't need any more money, okay? He really doesn't, okay? So I, I do not like this fella. Let's just say that like that. But what I did is I did a lot of statistics, a lot of working out, a lot of calculations. You don't have to see it all. I'm just going to quickly tell you the very brief overview. I'm also going to show you some other threads and data from other people and they've actually looked at um, a massive number of supply drops and looked at what people got and how likely you are to get weapons. I'm looking at the theoretical point of view and they're looking at the actual sample, okay? So I'm going to be showing that. The people that did those threads and that data, I'll, sh I'll have their links top links in the description will be the, th the threads of the reddit post okay so make sure you go and check that out okay so first of all the probability of getting one weapon in a game doesn't matter what it is because let's be honest we're not really looking for cameras or anything i mean they're cool but what we're really after are the weapons so the probability of getting just one weapon in a supply drop is 1.73 percent chance with my model i'm not saying it is i'm just saying with my calculation with the model assuming that all items have an equal drop rate you've got a 1.73 percent chance of getting one weapon in a supply drop with two weapons this decreases to 0.00936 percent chance which is just incredible isn't it but what if you wanted three weapons in a supply drop oh well, let me tell you about it then you have a 0.0000155% chance of getting three weapons in a supply drop. Basically, to open to get all three weapons in a supply drop, to see that at least once in your lifetime, you'd need to buy over six million supply drops. Isn't that a bit crazy? I think it is. I don't know very many people that have that amount of money to, to buy that many supply drops. It's just, it's crazy. And because of that, you've got over a 98% chance of not getting a weapon. And if someone said to you, you've got over a 98% chance of not surviving from a disease, I don't think you'd be very happy. You'd be very scared, very worried. And I'm not saying it's obviously equal, you know, not getting a weapon to dying. I'm just saying that if you think about it like that, suddenly you think, oh my gosh, this is really incredibly likely to not happen that I'm going to survive. And yeah, I just, it's crazy. So if you add the probability of one, two, and three together for the, what I just told you, that gives you a probability of 1.74% chance of getting at least one weapon. Or more in a supply drop so you've got basically a 1.74 percent chance of getting what at least one weapon in the supply drop um and this is just my theoretical model but this is pretty i would say this is pretty accurate so that's roughly i would say what it equates to now to put that into perspective if you wanted at least one weapon in the supply drop you'd have to buy or open 58 of them now this doesn't take into account rare and common supply drops i'm just saying in general you need to open 58 of them obviously it changes between the two types and so in a future video i might compare them because people have done a rubbish job so far at comparing the different types you need to open with my model at least 58 supply drops to pretty much sort of guarantee yourself getting at least one weapon to get that 100% guarantee of getting a weapon. Now obviously you might have to open less, you might have to open more, but just in general, about 58 you need to open, okay? So that really puts into perspective, if you're going to buy supply drops, you need to buy at least 58 of them. Okay, fair enough, but what if you wanted a very specific weapon, something particular? If you love the HD40, you can't, you know, Thing of Thunder, he wanted the MX Grand. The probability of getting a specific weapon that you definitely want, a chosen weapon, 
the one that you've got your eye set on, you have a 0.134% chance of that happening. Very small. To put that into perspective, you'd need to open, at least with my model, 747 supply drops, okay? So basically, you're looking at close to, not far off, a thousand supply drops you'd need to open to get that. And that's why when you saw the YouTubers doing their sort of um, supply drop opening videos, they weren't getting the white items they want straight away, and they were opening hundreds of them. Because with my calculations, you need to open around 747. That's a ton of supply drops to get the weapon that you want. That's crazy. And that's, like I said, with the, assuming that there are 2,231 items in the game, which I calculated from adding them all up. Okay, now... Looking at the the, uh, the actual st uh, samples and statistics that people have actually calculated from people that have actually opened supply drops, they looked at YouTubers that did the supply drop opening videos. They look at some, they took some data, and here's I'm going to be sort of looking at it and comparing it to mine. Okay, Th that was my theoretical data. Now let's look at the actual sample data. Okay, so this one guy opened 205 supply drops, and of of those supply drops, he got five weapons. And I've changed his model a little bit because I'm, I wasn't fully happy and some people were saying that his model was a little bit flawed. Um, if you divide five, which was the number of items he got, uh, sorry, number of weapons he got, by the number of supply drops, which is 205, and you times that by 100, you get a 2.44% chance of opening a supply drop and getting a weapon in it. So from the sample data, this is real. So this is, in a way, it's sort of more accurate you have a 2.44% chance of getting a weapon from a supply drop. Now, this is just assuming that those five weapons came from fi uh, five separate supply drops. If they, if you had, like, two in one supply drop and then three in s three other supply drops, then obviously that would be a bit different. But let's just, you know, look at my theoretical data. It's very unlikely for there to be two in a single supply drop. And so let's just assume they're all uh, one in separate supply drops. You have roughly a 2.44% chance of getting a weapon. But then, okay, now obviously this data was further back, so it's not now, so things have changed a bit, but that's sort of quite accurate again. It's still quite low, isn't it? 2.44% 2, 2 chance, you'd still need to open a great deal of supply drops to get a weapon. And that's not even your guaranteed weapon, that's just a weapon. So okay then, and then someone else also took some more data, and this is a little bit flawed in a way, because the sample size that he added together was sort of a bit, it varied from like 50 supply drops up to like 300, so you are bound to get a bit of different but basically this guy looked at many different youtubers who opened supply drops in total they opened 1019 supply drops and of those they got eight weapons combined okay so if you divide that and times about 100 you get a 0.79 percent probability of getting a weapon in a supply drop and again we're going to assume that you get one weapon per supply drop not every supply drop just one in each otherwise if it was like two in one then it would be a bit different but it's very unlikely let's just assume that doesn't happen isn't that crazy though? So we've got, my theoretical assumption was that there's a 1.74% chance of getting a weapon. And then obviously with the other guy, it was 2.44, but his sample size was much less. So with this guy with 1,000 supply jobs, it is a bit flawed because each of the sample sizes which he added together were not quite equal at all. And so there was massive variation. Okay, now finally, this other guy, and this was really awesome, I didn't really think of this. Um, what he did is he used previous Call of Duty titles, their sort of pricing and things, and he said, for example, for the camos, he said, well, when you bought a camo, it was like $2 or something like that, and it, the camo went on every single weapon in the game, so only in supply drops, obviously, you only get a camo for a certain weapon, so if you take all these things into account, you know, about six cents for a, an epic camo uh, about 99 cents for a, a specialist theme primary weapons 299 secondaries 199 etc 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 um and from that above logic he then calculated that if you added all the items and you know priced them all together appropriately use that logic that everything in the su in the um supply drop would cost 247 dollars now i think it would co cost closer to 3, 000, uh, 300 now considering that the number of items has gone up quite a bit but let's just say that there were $247, that was the cost of everything in the um, in the black market. Now, if you divided that by the total number of items, which at the time was 2,070, okay, and you times that by three because you've got three chances of getting an item in a supply job, you've got three different slots, then that gives you an average of 36 cents American dollar-wise. That's the amount that you get back. So if you pay $2 for a supply job, on average, you're going to get 36 cents worth back. And that means it's 5.5 times over price, and it's 5.5 times your loss. So if you put $2 in, on roughly, on average, you're going to get 36 cents of stuff back. 
That is a waste, and this is why the supply drop system is very, very flawed. But anyway, I don't want to talk too much about my opinion because obviously, like I said, we're going to talk about it in the discussion. If you guys are interested in that, hit me up on PlayStation, and you know, hopefully, you guys found this video useful. Let me know your thoughts. I really don't know any thoughts on this video, and hope you guys. I'll see you tomorrow with another video.